Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from an eye, and for salvation for our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy Church. God and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy Father Francis Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. For the Venerable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government and all the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city, community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord.
Kristom bietente.
children of light, light produce every kind of godliness and justice and truth. Be correct in your judgment and what please the Lord. Take no part in vain deeds. Do not down in darkness. Rather commend them, condemn them. It is shameful even to mention the things the people do in secret. But when such deeds are condemned, they are seen in the light of day. And all that the appears is light. That is why we rest. Awake, O sleepers, arise from death, and Christ will give you light. Keep careful. Watch over the candle. Do not act like Paul, but like thoughtful men. Make the most of their present opportunity, for these are evil days. Do not continue in ignorance, but try to discern what to discern the will of the Lord. Avoid getting drunk in wine. That leads to the battery. Be filled with the Spirit and addressing one another in psalms and hymns and inspiring songs. Sing praise to the Lord with all your heart. This be to your reader wisdom be adapted. Hallelujah. Gentile, 
or tax collector. I assure you, whatever you declare bound on earth shall be held bound in heaven, and whatever you declare loosed on earth shall be held loosed in heaven. Again I, I tell you, if two of you join your voices on earth to pray for anything, whatever it shall be granted you by my Father in heaven, where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in their midst. Glory to Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Thank you for coming today and thank you to all those who are watching us over YouTube or Facebook, online, <coughs> praying with us. Uh, different, uh, it's very interesting gospel uh, today and uh, it is a very strong message that church wants us to, uh, to, to remember. But before I go there, we have a, a great lesson here in the middle of this gospel. How we need to deal uh, with, each other, with each other if we have any kind of difficulties or problems in communication. Sometimes it is hard for us to do that. We, we rather choose to stay quiet or, or talk about somebody with somebody else. So it, it is, of course, it's much easier. It's much easier if somebody heard you, heard you, okay, I'll talk about him with somebody else. And I don't know, if with co-workers, with the colleagues, with classmates, wherever it is, between students or uh, between the co-workers or anywhere else, even the family family members sometimes. Of course, it's much easier to choose that because uh, you don't deal with the face to face with the person, and uh, not all of us are capable to 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 talk eyes to eyes because of different reasons. We have different personalities. That's that's understandable, of course. But we see from, from this gospel today what God, God wants us to do and how He teaches, teaches us to, to, to deal with all kinds of difficulties. It is always, how, even if it is, if it is uh, very hard for us, we need to remember that it is God's will. And if we do what, what His will is, He will support us. Holy Spirit will help us at that time, at that moment, what we need to say, when we need to listen, whether to say anything or just or, or just to listen, or just to be there, and 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 so it is. It is sometimes very complicated, of course, because we are all uh, different. But we see here that even if it is hard, it is hard. We still need to go and talk to our brother or sister. And talk, and, and you see, if he listens to you, if, if you find a <coughs> point of, of cooperation, and you, the gospel said, you, you have won your brother over. So he is, he is your brother again. But sometimes it is, it is not the case immediately. So then you, you need to come back with your, I don't know, with co workers or, or other, other people and talk to him again. And if, if after that, to talk, talk to the church. Church in this matter, in our opinion, is probably, uh, would be, I don't know, chief or, or whoever is responsible at work. Or some, sometimes we do opposite. Sometimes we go and, and go to the, uh, I don't know, chief or CEO and, and you know, he, this is, he is better, he, he did this and that. See, in the gospel mentality, it's different. It's different than, than, than sometimes people want to use the situation and, and uh, get rid of, of others. It's, so, of course, we don't always have this honest uh, intention. 
But you see, from uh, Jesus teaches us something different. That's what God God wants from us. So this is very very interesting point for all of us. And uh, I tell you, Jesus say, whatever you whatever. Uh, I assure you, whatever you declare bound on earth shall be held bound in heaven, and whatever you declare loosed on earth shall be held loose in heaven. This is about uh, confession as well. This is about confession as well. And you remember during the meeting with, with the disciples, Jesus said, uh, Peace be with you. Whatever you, I, I give you power for, to forgive sins. This is so important. This is so important. Uh, one of the most important points that uh, that, that Jesus uh, made, and, and this one of the most important thing that that Jesus want us to continue after Him, and He knew how important it, it would be in the future for all of us. That, and we are so blessed. We are so blessed that we have sacram sacraments, and especially sacrament of confession that we can we can go and many times before I told you that there is a huge difference in when you ask God for forgiveness I don't know in your room or in the car or anywhere else and in confession <coughs> in one case you hope it is forgiven in another case you know it is forgiven so that confessional uh, sacramental seal gives us uh, not only that but that confirmation in the sacramental sacramental confession gives us assurance that yes we are forgiven we know all my sins are included and God forgive, forgive me everything what what I've done wrong so it is so important for us to remember and again this encouraging last part of the, of the Gospel, it's about every liturgy. Again, I tell you, if two of you join your voices on earth to pray for anything, whatever I shall be, whatever I shall be granted to you by the Father, by my Father in heaven, where two of, or three of you gathered in my name, there I am in their midst. It's so wonderful to hear these words. We remember that. We know that like kind of but it is so wonderful to hear from Jesus that whenever we are together as a community in the church it is something special it is not the same that's why by the way it's, that's why we are coming together as well to, to pray as a community because it's different kind of prayer it is different prayer and Jesus reassuring us that I am uh, with you now. I am whenever you are here in this place, in the temple, or whenever wherever you pray together, I am there with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say. Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty God, the power of God, as we pray you here and ever say. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you here and ever say. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Again, we pray to you, 
O Lord, our God, hear our supplication and through your grace have mercy on your servants, all the sick and suffering of our parish family and servants of God, Elizabeth, Leah, Morgan, and all who ask us to pray for them and all sick and suffering of coronavirus and all those who help them and members of their family. Grant all their petitions and pardon all their voluntary and voluntary sins. Accept their supplication and charitable deeds before the throne of your majesty. Save them from every visible and invisible enemies, from every misfortune, distress and affliction. Spare them from illness and grant them health and long life. Let us all say, O Lord, hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
is for the mercy of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy, good and life creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Amen. Peace be to all. And to you, Savior. Let's love one another that through our mind we may profess.
Among the first to all remember our Holy Father Francis Pope of Rome, our most traveled Pope and William, our God, long Bishop Kurt, preserving for your Holy Churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, <coughs> as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember
and repentance, let us beseech the Lord. Repent, O Lord. For a Christian, painless and ashamed, peaceful and of all life, and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Repent, O Lord. Asking for unity in the faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O oh, 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 oh. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation there call you Father, God of heaven, and say, Our Father, who art in heaven,
approach with fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. One second. Save your people, O oh God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, and we worship the undivided.
Let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We thank your Master, Benefactor, all souls who loved us all that this day have made us worthy of your heavenly immortal mysteries. Through the praise and intercession of the glorious Theotokos and our Virgin Mary and all your saints, may straight our path, confirm us all in fear of you, God, our life and stay with our steps. For you are sanctification, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Hear us, O God, our Savior, hope of all the ends of the earth all those far away at sea. On the day of Pentecost you bestow on the Tripton the promised gift upon humanity when you pour and put forth the visitation of the Holy Spirit in the form of fiery, tongue, fiery tongues upon your blessed disciples and apostles, showing them to be preachers and defenders of the gospel. We pray to you, fill us with, with joy and gladness by the coming of, the, of your Holy Spirit, that we may bless you with all the days of our lives. For every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we render glory, thanksgiving, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever.